Welcome to this module 2 Mixed Task Activities. The first task that we will tackle is to insert waypoint 1 at latitude 50 degrees 03.4 minutes north and longitude 005 degrees 56 minutes west at 1800 hours. So this is our practice chart 001. We will insert waypoint 1. Waypoint 1, which is on latitude 50 degrees, this is 50 degrees, 3.4 minutes. 1, 2, 3, point 2.4. Point so this is the latitude. The longitude, longitude 005, 56 minutes west. So this is 6. You cannot see 5, but as you can see, the numbers are decreasing so 5005 was on the right side 00535 540 45 50 55 56 so to plot the latitude just use your triangle get some reference straight line horizontal then put the other triangle on the side and run this to 0.3.4 so for the longitude just use your compass divider so it is the one make a reference let's say this one so then put it here Your waypoint one is right here. I take it out. This is your waypoint one at 1800 hours. Now, the second task is to determine the bearing of Manacol point this one manacol point so to do that just place the sides of the triangle for both manacol point and your waypoint one and make a line towards manacol and to determine the bearing just bring your triangle to the center side the center see and mark this one this is the bearing so it is 260 one two three four two six four two six four this is now your lop Manacol point. The next task is to locate the given waypoint 2. Waypoint 2 is latitude 50 degrees 9 minutes north, 005 degrees 52.4 minutes west. So 50, 5, 9. This is your latitude. Longitude is 005, 50, 52.4, 0 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Okay, so just the same. Get a reference to plot that. Then bring that to 9 and mark you use your compass divider to the reference let's see this one this is a straight line so we put here and this one so make sure it will not move so this is your waypoint 
Hmm. Now, the next task is to draw the course line from waypoint 1 at 1800 to waypoint 2. Just very easy. Okay. That's your course. Now, determine the course by bringing your compass rather triangle since you are here going there so you use this data so let's move upward so this one it's zero two one two zero two two degrees true you write it here course zero two two degrees through that's your course now as the ship moved the officer observed at 1900 hours the bearing of St. Anthony Head is 285 and grip point is 337 so to plot the cross bearing just begin with the St. Anthony head which bears 285 so this one this is 80 this is 85 now bring this to St. Anthony head the side St. Anthony head is right here this one, the St. Anthony head. So, from your ship, the building is 285. It's 285, no? St. Anthony head. And the grid point is 337. So, 337 is 33057. Now, again, bring this side to the grip point grip point is right here see grip point that one oh grip point three three seven okay so here three three seven yeah so here the intersection is your fix at 1900 hours this is your fix 1900 hours now as you can see this is the course line and our position after one hour is here we are off course now we have to go back to direction to waypoint 2 so to do that just make a line from here to waypoint 2 so now this is now now our corrected course to determine the new course to waypoint 2 just run your new course line to the compass rule run is three five six so your new course is three five six degrees true the next task if your vessel arrived week two at 1920 lay down the new course of zero seven zero this is zero seven zero from waypoint two going north east and from here determine the fix at twenty twenty hundred hours using a deed reckoning 
method. Now, the recording method is using the direction and the speed and the last fix. So the last fix, you know, at 1920, because you arrived with win 2, is this one. So the direction is already 070. Let's mark it 0070. Course 070. We wish to. And we use the speed of 5 knots. So we will measure 5 knots from waypoint 2. So your fix will be here at 20, 20, 100 hours. DR, 20, 20 hours. So that's it.